put another video today. This time it's going to be about breeding slaters. So I've found a bunch of them under a big rock. Uh, so I'm going to try and breed them. One reason you're going to want to breed slaters is to have a bioactive setup or maybe just for feeding. So I'm going to try and breed these guys so that I can have a bioactive bead dragon enclosure for my bead dragons. Um, so what they do is they just they live in the substrate and they just clean up all the feces or the old food that they didn't eat, anything like that. And they can be really helpful. Here in Australia, you can't buy slaters. Like, I know, like, in America, some other countries, you can just buy whole containers with a bunch of them in there. But uh, you can't. There's nobody doing that here. So you just have to find them. I found all these under a big rock. So... Go get onto the setup that they're going in. I've just got this container with a few holes, but I'm gonna have to tape up some of the holes because they need high humidity sliders. So this is gonna be the setup that they're going in. I've got this core peak brick uh, that I just got from Bunnings as a substrate. It's really cheap and it's just it makes up to nine liters, so I'm gonna have plenty of substrate for them to burrow into. And it also holds the humidity very well. And lastly, I've got some bark. There's a few different pieces of bark. I've got these sort that are pretty hard. And I've got these that are just like come off really easy. And they've got plenty of little bits for them to burrow into. And breed. Yep. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, this brick of core peat in a bucket and fill it up with boiling water. But you don't need to fill up with boiling water, you just need some warm water, but that's what I'm going to do first. Okay, now all the core peat has expanded and I've got plenty of water in it. So it's going to be very high in humidity in there, so I'm just going to put it in. So I've put all the dirt in and I've put a bit of bark in there as well, just like so, sort of half in the substrate. But I'll put the rest of the bark in now. all the barks in I put some of it in like the first bit so it's sort of half in half out but there's not much room left and but now to keep it humid I'm gonna spray the un the under the big bits so that they've got plenty of water in there so it's nice and humid for the bugs okay, so as you saw there just spread it down just the big bits and now Good measure, I'll just spray the whole thing, everything. And what the slayers are going to do is they're going to burrow in. This is just going to be, it's going to be just like the substrate they're going to have in the beer dragon enclosure. So I'm just going to give them like some of the food that they haven't, that the beer dragons haven't eaten. And maybe just like carrot, stuff like, pretty much the same as the beer dragon diet, except you don't need live food, so yep, okay, so now I'm going to release all of them, they're all in the container, so I'll just put them in, and I'll give you a time lapse, okay, so the reason why they're not in a bigger tub or anything is because I haven't really got that many now and it's just going to be easier for them to find each other and breed and when I've got a bigger population I'll probably move them into a bigger tub 
but yeah. Hopefully I can get plenty of them so I can start the new enclosure for my beer dragon soon. And thanks for watching.